ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു ഇ സി അക്കാഡമി ഇൻ ദിസ് ലെക്ചർ ലെറ്റ് അസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ഡിറ്റക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ഡേറ്റ ബൈ കൺട്രോൾഡ് ഇൻട്രർ സിമ്പിൾ ഇൻട്രഫറൻസ് ഇൻ ദി പ്രീവിയസ് ലെക്ചർ വി അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് ഹൗ ടു റെഡ്യൂസ് ദി എഫക്ട് ഓഫ് ഐ എസ് ഐ യൂസിംഗ് നൈക് വേസ്റ്റ് ക്രൈറ്റീരിയ ടുഡേ ലെറ്റ് അസ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദി ഡിറ്റക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ഡേറ്റ ബൈ കൺട്രോൾഡ് ഐ എസ് ഐ യൂസിംഗ് ഡിയോ ബൈനറി സിഗ്നലിംഗ് let us consider the sample of received filter as y of ti is equal to b of ti plus n ti this is the sampled signal of the receiver in the band limited channel communication here b of ti can be written as ai plus ai minus 1 here ai represents the amplitude of transmitted sequence and n of ti represents the gaussian noise so ai represents the amplitude of present bit and ai minus 1 represents the amplitude of the previous bit so from this we can understand that in dio binary signaling we are considering two successive bits for evaluation so this is the amplitude of present bit and this is the amplitude of previous bit so if we neglect this gaussian noise at that case ai can have the value plus 1 or minus 1 so we will give the value as plus 1 if symbol 1 is transmitted and the value of ai will be minus 1 if symbol 0 is transmitted so ai can take two values either it can have plus 1 or minus 1 since we are taking two successive bits we can have four combinations as 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so it is the addition of two successive bits so it can be addition of 0 0 or it can be addition of 0 1 it can be addition of 1 0 or it can be addition of 1 1 so 0 is represented as minus 1 1 is represented as plus 1 so from this we can write it is minus 1 minus 1 so it will be minus 2 and 0 plus 1 it is minus 1 plus 1 so it will be 0 and it is 1 plus 0 it will be plus 1 minus 1 again it will be 0 and 1 plus 1 is plus 1 plus 1 so it will be plus 2 so if you observe this we can say that b of ti can have the value plus 2 minus 2 or it can have the value as 0 so that is what we have written here so b of ti can have the amplitude value as plus 2 minus 2 or it can have the value as 0 so by neglecting the gaussian noise we can write the above equation as y of ti is equal to ai plus ai minus 1 the same equation we can write it as ck is equal to ak plus ak minus 1 so this is the alternative representation of this equation both the equations are same so from this analysis we understood that in dio binary signaling two successive bits are used for the evaluation process so two successive bits are used here for evaluation this process is also known as symbol by symbol detection of data or dio binary encoding or it is also known as correlative coding the process allows the signaling rate at 2b0 in a channel of bandwidth b0 so if the bandwidth of channel is b0 so the signaling rate will be 2b0 so this will help in allowing the intersymbol interference in a controlled manner so whatever intersymbol interference is transmitted at the transmitter end that will be eliminated at the receiver end now let us understand dio binary encoding or which is commonly known as db encoding first we will understand what is do the word do means double the transmission capacity of binary system now let us consider the input sequence as bk so since uh, we are taking the binary sequence the input sequence will be having the value 1 or 0 for this sequence if we perform nrz encoding we will get another signal which is ak so ak will be plus 1 if the input sequence is 1 and ak will be minus 1 if the input sequence is 
this encoder accept the sequence AK and convert it into three level signal that is plus two, minus two or zero. So this we understood here. So the NRZ sequence will be converted into three level signal which is plus two, minus two or zero. The output of the encoder can be expressed as CK. CK is equal to AK plus AK minus one. To reconstruct the transmitted signal, let us consider AK cap as estimation of AK. So we can represent AK cap is equal to CK minus AK minus one cap. So here this equation is obtained from this equation. So to reconstruct AK, we have represented that as AK cap. So AK cap is equal to CK minus AK minus one cap. So from this equation, we have written this equation. This equation shows that if CK is received with some error, then AK cap will have the error. This error will propagate at the output sequence. This is one of the disadvantage or one of the drawback of DO binary signaling. To understand this process, let us consider an example where we will take BK as the input sequence. So we have taken the sequence as 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So this sequence should be transmitted. So first step is to convert that sequence into NRZ format. So NRZ format is nothing but will represent BK in terms of AK. So for 0, we will write it as minus 1 and for 1, we will write it as plus 1. So we can write minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and minus 1. So the output of encoder is CK. So CK can be written as AK plus AK minus 1. So this is the amplitude of present bit. This is the amplitude of previous bit. So we need to add those two to represent CK. So here CK, we can write it as for the first bit, we don't know the previous value. So that's why we will take it as dash. For the second bit, this is the present bit AK, this is AK minus 1. So minus 1 plus of minus 1. So if you substitute here, minus 1 plus of minus 1, it will be minus 2. So we have written minus 2 here. So in the same way, plus 1 minus 1, it will be 0. Plus 1 plus 1, it is plus 2. Minus 1 plus 1, it is 0 plus 1 minus 1 it is 0 minus 1 plus 1 it is 0 minus 1 minus 2 it is minus 2 so we can say ak is represented in the form of three level signal which is ck which will be having the value minus 2 plus 2 and 0 at the receiver end to reconstruct the transmitted signal we will use this formula to find this we will consider ck minus the previous bit value. So here we don't have CK value. We'll take the same value here because we don't know what is the previous bit value. To construct this bit, we'll consider minus two minus of minus one in this equation. It will be minus two minus of minus one. So it will be minus one. So we have written minus one here. In the same way, we'll take zero minus of minus one. It will be plus one. 2 minus 1 it is plus 1 0 minus 1 it is minus 1 0 minus of minus 1 it is plus 1 0 minus 1 it is minus 1 minus 2 minus of minus 1 it is minus 1 so we just need to use this uh, formula we know minus 1 represents 0 and plus 1 represents 1. So, so using this analysis, we will represent minus 1 as 0, plus 1 as 1. So we will get the sequence 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So this is the transmitted signal, which is reconstructed at the receiver. This is about the DO binary signaling. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.